So, uh, you got yourself a date for Friday? A date? It's not a high school prom, it's an anniversary bash. Oh, look at you. Well, everyone else is taking someone. That's their lookout. But that Alfie bloke, he seems all right. He's my boss. You don't miss on your own doorstep, that's rule number one. Seems like a right laugh. Yeah, which is more than I can say for Dad's date. Don't be so mean. I'm really happy for him, Kat. Let's just hope we don't get serious. Do you want a murder in the family? You right, Dad? So, you bringing anyone on Friday? Oh, Dad, don't you start. I've had an ear bashing from her already. Well, you don't have to. Look, just leave it, yeah? Oh, it's two minutes, I swear. Oh, calm down. I was early anyway. You're an angel. Yeah? So you wouldn't mind if I asked for Friday night off, then? Friday? It's going to be a madhouse in here, isn't it? Uh, uh, it's mine and Gary's wedding anniversary. It's a big family, too. Oh, Alfie's very big on family, aren't you, Alfie? Yeah, well, yeah, of course it's family, isn't it? Oh, cheers, boss. Uh, you're welcome to come and all. No, I doubt it, gorgeous. Besides, I thought you said it was for family only. Yeah, well, she's allowed to bring a mate, isn't she? It ain't compulsory to bring a mate. Yeah, and Peggy's going to be there, aren't you? Oh, I don't really think I'll be in a mood for parties. Sorry, Charlie. Hey. It's all right. I heard about Phil. If they let him go. Of course. Uh, vodka and tonic and an orange juice when you're ready, love. Yeah. Evelyn, am I missing a gag here? No, no, it's nothing. She, she ain't got a bloke at the minute. We're just winding her up. <laughs> Does she want one? I don't think she's that bothered, really. Oh, it's a family thing. I reckon I could get her a fella. Do you reckon? Oh, yes, you're joking. She's gorgeous. Yeah, but she don't want a bloke at the minute, does she? It'd have to be something really special to tempt her out of retirement. All right, five quid says I can. <laughs> <clears throat> what? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Cat, what would you say your ideal man was then? Available. <laughs> would you mind? I'm not interested in men right now. No, 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 but when you are, what sort of would you like? Oh, tall, dark, and some big fat wallet. Oi, I am here, you know. All right, Doc. Hi, um, I'll have an orange juice, please. Absolutely. Business good? Well, I'm giving the undertakers a run for the money, if that's what you mean. <laughs> How's your love life? Now that's at The Undertaker's. Runner, right? Oh, Doc. Back so soon? Nothing serious. Let's see if I can finish my lunch without anyone overdosing on breath mints. Listen, what are you doing Friday night? This is about my love life again. Well, it might be. <laughs> Look, I don't go in for blind dates. So if you're trying to set me up with someone, just tell me who it is. Oh, oh, oh just wait there. Wait there. Hey, Cat. You would not believe what the Doc has got in his bag. I have seen nothing like it before. Ain't nothing icky, is it? Icky, it's a modern miracle. Go and have a look. Go on. Sorry. Elvis said you had something to show me. Oh, did he now? Is this some sort of joke at my expense? Well, that's a bit hard to explain. I'm sorry about him. I wonder if he's nicked for this. No, he means well. Either that or he's a very sick man. <laughs> Could you imagine us two together with all the family around us? Nightmare. <laughs> See? Match made in heaven. Chook! Good luck for Cupid. So, what's the big deal about Friday anyway? It's Finn and Gary's anniversary. Of course. It's been a long year. <laughs> yeah. I hope you find a date. I'm happy on my own.